Okay, like that. <coughs> okay. <coughs> oh, I'm recording already. <coughs> I, I saw this in a movie once and I always wanted to do it. It's, um, you know, the guy, the guy had cancer and he wanted to do a, a video album of his life and what he went through during the battle of, of cancer. And it was an incredibly sad story. I drove me into tears. It was really, really sad. And I decided I was going to do the same. But no, <laughs> I don't have cancer. I don't have cancer. I'm, I'm never going to get cancer. And, and, and neither are you going to get cancer. You believe in God? Say amen. Amen. You're never going to get cancer. Okay, so um, this is a very simple thing. I am, well, what I do is um, I, uh, I actually don't do anything. I, I'm just a, a, a wannabe director who wants to shoot films. Or maybe um, documentaries. No, not films, really. Yes, and um, I decided to do this thing set my camera, you know, video myself, talk to whoever's going to be watching about my family. And um, I'm going to call it... <clears throat> All right, let me change the frame and I'll put the names there. Let me zoom it in a bit. Zoom it in a bit. There you go. I'm going to put the, the names here. Now, um, we're going to call this the Family Album. Fantastic. Okay, so I want you guys to meet my family, right? A very interesting family, you know. Occasionally, from time to time, we throw parties. Some of those families I always have to throw an interesting party when even there's nothing going on. You know, my dad loves doing stuff like that, including my mom. You know, she's an incredible, beautiful woman. My mom used to be an ex-beauty queen. She used to be a size 8 until she had me. And um, I don't know what happened after that, but I think I sucked her dry. And after I was done with her, she blew up like a balloon on helium. God knows what happened. <laughs> oh, she's never going to watch this video anyway. Okay, and my dad, ex-civil servant, worked with the government. Um, after he was done over 20 years, the only thing he could boast about was two houses he built over 18 years or something. He never took a bribe, ever. Never. You won't. All right. Um, the most interesting part of my family that you guys really have to know about. Hold on a second. This is the part where I change my thing again. And do this. Focus right. Good. Okay. So, um, the most interesting part of my family where you guys really have to see are my extended family members. Interesting people. Dad! Sorry. How many times do you want me to want me to stop calling you? Come here, Papa. Sorry. Where are we from? Auntie Lara! In three years, she had five marriages. And the last marriage, the wedding ceremony lasted longer than the marriage itself. She's incredible. And in her mind, she's a size eight. You should see her. Incredibly gorgeous. Look at her. And she's a size eight. But what happens? If she meets the one and only unsinkable Molly.
And then when these two meet, it's drama all the while. The whole time is gonna be incredible, supernatural drama. I know. It's okay, it's all right. I know what's going through your mind right now. Mm -hmm. Surprised, shocked, confused. <laughs> I'm much slimmer than you now. <laughs> Come on, let it out. Let it out. Scream. Scream, 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 scream. when these two meet. My goodness, it is incredible yeah. drama. Hold on, let me just adjust my... Hey everyone, my fiance is in. Your fiance? Yes, Alex is in here. Yeah. So I'm gonna let Alex in so you can meet the Today's actually my sister's wedding and I'm actually late. <laughs> I'm never late for events. Now, there's a reason why I'm doing this video in the first place because today's my sister's very special day and um, I have to go now. Hold on a second. Let me put this thing off record. And then we can uh, up here. I actually don't know how to use this camera properly. It's a new camera my dad just got. And I... There you... As a token of my love, I take you as my husband from this day forward in love and in truth, in sickness and in health, to love and to honor, till death do us part. Gentlemen, 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 look, I am not backing anyone here. But that is no excuse for Kotoko's failures. 
What needs to be addressed is the capability of the boat. No, no, no. Yes. I don't agree. That's a no. issue that no, needs serious attention. What are you talking about here? No. Yeah. But that's that's not no. Is, 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 it, is it the coach who's playing on the field? No. No. But the he players? No. no. There's a choice. Yeah. Even no. if it's in this no. 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 right. thing, the coach is the one playing for the players who are on the field. Look, they don't need to drop his sleep better. Eh? From another chapter. Why he has to make a decision? Look, sleep better is Kotoko's see Ronaldo. No, no, no. Imagine him dropping his sleep Everything okay? Fine, very fine. Mm -hmm. This isn't the face you carry around when your daughter just got married. Don't smile, my daughter. I'm only worried that the men will get themselves drunk before the party begins. Forget about them. They are in a world of their own. Men are so insensitive. Instead of them taking charge and see to it that everything runs smoothly, see them, they are drinking, talking about God knows what. Football. Well, thank God you aren't talking about young girls. <laughs> Forget about the men. Our food is ready. Good. You know what? I think I'll need my strength for tonight. I can understand that. <laughs> True. I'm really happy for you. Oprah made an excellent choice. Oh, don't they look good together? Yeah. Oh, thank you. In fact, you should have seen them at the courthouse. I cried my uh, eyes out. I can't wait for such experience. Gandhi is getting married soon. Wow! Congratulations, I do. Uh, thank you. I wish Ransford was serious. This boy is glued to his work. He does not have eye for anything. My bad is good. Yes. It's better than being a skirt chaser. Or a drunk. I suppose so. But ladies, I think we should understand matter. Isn't this what we are all hoping for? To see our children settle down and get married. Hmm. Maybe there's something we can do. Set him up with some nice girl. Maybe it's water for example. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, today reminds me being a special day. The day I first proposed to my beautiful wife. You know when? No. In a small village near Akuse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you had my wife there. Hey! Come on, pal. Yeah, great. We've not seen you today. I mean, the whole of the day. Right. Uh, I'm just going to put things in place before the guests come in. Well, why don't you like to associate yourself with me, the old man? Well, no, I wish I could, but. Uh, I'm not so good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so leave that for the women to handle. Today is their Christmas. Come and have a drink with us. Oh, oh come on, Greg. Don't you disgrace me. Oh, come on, come on. A little bit of it will do. Don't, 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 don't say it. Oh, okay, yes. that's enough, that's enough. Lucas, you have done a bad job here. Take a close look at the king of spades and look at my palm, empty palm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's see what happens to the king of spades when we rub it. Mm -hmm. Daddy, take a close look. Okay. Now, wow. what did you do? Oh. The secret of a happy marriage still remains a secret. You see, look, ah. in Africa we call these people crooks. In America they call them smart guys. He's very smart. He's taking out that. <laughs> No, 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 I never did that. No, 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 Some, uh, something to quench the 
stubborn. And you? When are you getting married? <laughs> marriage! Oh, please, spare me the agony. It's about time you settled down. Make your mom happy. Your no, mommy's already happy. Oh, announcement, please. My only sister has completely lost her mind. She's getting married. Look, this one is just hopeless. All he does is to flirt around. Yes. Yes, um, Susan, um, have they set the buffet table? Yes. And Ready. what about the Kiba guys? Mm -hmm. Done. Good. Let's up here. Well seasoned. Very well seasoned. Good. Thank you so much. What a friend for. Hey, I know. Just, just, hold on. I know. Yeah, Auntie Reggie, yeah. uh, the makeup lady, she's here already. Ah, just tell her. Right. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you. You shut it! Why does Opera keep her around? I, I was thinking the same. Yeah. No, you are talking about Paga. Paga. Oh, Paga, Paga, Paga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you can't talk about that. Come on, Alex. We should be getting home. Oh, what, what time is this? It doesn't matter. We are leaving now. Wow. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll catch you when I catch you. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> Dressed already? No. Opera wants a second opinion on her looks. It's only Adina. Tell us you look good in anything. Okay, sorry. Has he brought the ice? I sent him a text message. He's probably at the gate. Go and check. Can your eyes send a signal to your brain? for your legs to move so pretty chicks can pass. Did you know that aggression is the first cardinal sign of depression? <gasps> Why am I even talking to you? I promised myself I'll stop talking to toddlers. Oh, really? Oh, I just turned six. Why don't you go back to school and get a real definition of a toddler? <laughs> you are the most... No, really? Just go to hell! There's one more thing you need to know. Shut what? it! Oh. Ah! Ah! My food! Well, <laughs> that was a dimension, I promise. <laughs> Get them up! Forget the eyes, get them up! Pretty chicks in here. Hey! Hey! Right, just a little bit to the right, it's fine. Right here, last two tables. Quick! Last two tables, hurry up. Take up for them. Greg, Daddy, why are you not dressed up? No, no, just wait one, two, three. Take, take the time. No, the guests are already seated. I you need to be dressed up, well dressed up. I know that, Daddy. Oh, give me. Well, where's your mom? She's at the back somewhere, just right there. Come on, be quick, be quick. No, no, get one of Hello? Hello? Get dressed. The lights in the back. The lights in the back. Give oh. me a second, give me a second. There's even a light wasn't coming. Greg? What? Don't, don't tell me. No, 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 no. I'm going to take my shower right now. Right now. Oh, my God. Hold on, hold on, mommy. Yeah. Are you the one getting married, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 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 Oh, my
Fine, except for your witch friend. Listen, I really don't appreciate certain things she does. What I'm saying is, right now. All right, fine. <laughs> Mata, you look so beautiful. Thank you, thank you. They just arrived. They are here. Do you hear? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Listen, I need to give you some tips. I'm sure the problem is from you. If not, naturally women emit something called pheromone. Okay, now pheromone is supposed to give you a sexual desire. If it didn't work for him, then there's something wrong somewhere. Uh, where? Hello? 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 Shucks. Too ready, sir. Ah, that's my boy. <laughs> Look at you. You're looking so pretty, so beautiful. Yes. I know. Yes. You told me. Oh, he did. Yes. Is everyone here already? Yes, all the guests are in. Oh. oh my God, this is it. I was in this neighbors this morning. See that? You called for a big party, and here you are. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time, everyone is going to see the newest Mrs. Faithful. <laughs> <laughs> Son, this is the point of no return. Mm -hmm. Yes, Daddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's great. It's time to go in there now. We'll go ahead of you. Take a deep breath and relax. Deep breath. Okay, we'll go ahead of you and we we'll follow, okay? Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. Excuse me. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Can we keep up standing, please, and then get to our tables? Excuse me. Can we get to our tables, ladies and gentlemen? But keep standing. Keep standing. I just have the good news that the, the newlyweds are in. Thank you very much. Thank you. And don't worry, as a celebrated uh, brother of the of the bride, uh, my, 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 my post will end in just a little while, so... Just give me your attention for now, and then I'll be out of your lives for good. Thank you very much. Well, most of us couldn't make it to the main event, 
since the bride and groom wanted a very small, you know, something very little. So um, tonight, family and friends have gathered here for the celebration and joining of two people made one. Two people made one indeed. Shall we welcome Mr. and Mrs. Hayford? Put it together. I want to get married. <laughs> it's so good together. They're perfect match. You made the right choice. Take a look at my life and all the decisions I've made in life. All the wrongs, the mistakes. I kind of wonder what good have I done on earth to deserve a wonderful woman like you? <laughs> Tonight, before my family and my friends. I want to reaffirm my love and my commitment to you. You are and will always be my one and all. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glasses and join me in the toast and drink to the most beautiful woman in the world. And to my in-laws, uh, thank you for allowing a, a, a scallywag like myself to marry your, your beautiful daughter. To the whole world. To the whole world. It is the pride and wish of every parent to see off their children to a great start regarding their matrimonial lives. And I do believe that my wife and myself, including the Hayfords, are the proudest families here this evening. Also, I toast to my most pretty wife who raised my daughter as a perfect woman. 
<laughs> she is so beautiful and so good, my wife. And to my lovely daughter, I can sincerely say, you have made me very, very proud. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm the proudest father in the whole wide world. And to all of you here making time to be with us, I want to say, cheers. Cheers. And also, toasting to my most stubborn son in the whole world, Greg, my stubborn son. I toast to you too. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Daddy, for the compliments. I really appreciate it. You are like father, like son. <laughs> but, uh, congratulations to the couple. I really, I'm wondering how I'm going to live in this house without you. I mean, your constant acts. He looks like a very nice man. Please don't kill him before his time. <laughs> Alright, I'm sure your glasses are empty, but just fill it up again one more time for the last toast. To opera, my wonderful sister, congratulations. <laughs> Alright, people, I, I think it's just fair for us to also propose a toast. It is just one line. We love you!
course, I missed the wedding. I couldn't have missed the party. Oh, thank you. You look so beautiful. Oh, thank my you. God. Where is the groom? Uh, he was somewhere. I'm sure we'll find him inside the house. Come on. Oh, no, no, wait. Sweetie, please come. Let's leave. <gasps> well, good evening. Good evening. You look absolutely gorgeous. Tonight. Thank you. Oh, my God. Um, Forgive me. I was so excited. I didn't notice oh, you. Never mind. Never I'm mind. Oprah. I'm Leslie. Nice it's to nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, you look a bit familiar. Haven't we met before? No, we haven't. Sure? I'm positive. Okay, um, allow me to steal your woman for a moment, okay? Sure, uh, sure, have all the fun you want. Should I going to be okay on your own? I'll be positive. Okay. Come on. Oh, oh, is this going to be safe here? Should I be right here? <laughs> oh, watch oh, out, please. Oh, you guys are like, oh. I don't know what else to say. You are imagining it. I'm not stupid, Regina. So, what do you want me to do, Kwame? It's not as if he said anything wrong. I only want to make sure that history is interpreting itself. I, I, I don't understand. Mom? Yeah? I'd like you to meet my friend Jamila. <laughs> She was yes. my flatmate during my service. Yes, yes. <laughs> the one who was um, backing on slimming cause eating fufu at night, right? Right. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> that was so not true. Oh. Anyway, nice to finally make your acquaintance. <laughs> yes, same yeah. here. Same here. Anyway, thanks so much for coming. Um, anything you. for her. <laughs> you okay, okay. come in. Jamila, there are important people I would like you to meet. Come on. Okay, bye, Mom. <laughs> What was that about? You tell me. Do you still want us to talk? No. There's something else on my mind, actually. Hey. You're here. Where's Mercedes? I have no idea. Okay, um, this is Jamila. She made it after all. Wow. I can't believe we're finally meeting. Yeah. Hi, Jamie. Hi. Welcome. Thank you very much. And you're as nice as your voice. Thank you. Oh, and you look good in this. Uh, thank you again, but actually, so are you. Thank you. So, um, are you spending the night? Because you know Opera is going to the hotel. Of course. Mm -hmm. And Mercedes and I are shacking up in her room, so you can join us if you'd like to. Um, thank you, okay. but um, sort She's of... here with her boyfriend, so she doesn't need your help. That's what she's trying to say. <laughs> oh, oh, sweetie, sorry. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Let me mind my own business. I need to see you in a bit. Yeah, 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 see you guys. Welcome, Jenny. <laughs> what are you doing here? No, no, hold on, hold on. H how did you know where to find me? I, I, uh, oh um, I, God. I have oh, <sighs> Listen, it's okay. I can't believe you, you, you came all this way just to surprise me. <laughs> oh, no, oh, uh, Candy, uh, Candy, no, no, uh, oh, I mean, right. I'll oh, clean you it's up. fine. Never mind. I'll clean you up. I, yeah, yeah, come, I, come. I, I mean, yes. Listen, my mom has been hounding me about you. Just oh, come, come so I can. Yes, come see her. Uh, just a minute, okay? I, no, come, come, been, come now. Just don't worry. I was worry. just having come. a drink. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> you look a little... Oh, 
I guess it's because you're drained from all the excitement and dancing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, don't go outside. Okay. I, um, have you by any chance seen a uh, Mercedes? Mercedes? Yeah. No, oh, no. Just wanted to know where to put this. Uh, but when I see her, I'll let her know you. You asked her. Where's my mom? I've looked everywhere. Do you know I went to the front? I, I even went to the other guardian and she's nowhere. <coughs> Kenny, I've... Kenny, Kenny, please, please, okay? Can you, can you please slow down and meet No, me? but she's probably Listen, gossiping Kenny, somewhere. Kenny, slow down and then she'll be hounding really me to see you. We really need to talk, okay? <laughs> this is very serious. It's very important. Talk? Yes, talk, all right? Did you guys see Auntie Sella's dress? I like she bought it from Paris. Oh, oh please. I'm sure she got it for cancer, but it's bend down with you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, God said, please, no one is talking about you. Have you guys seen my mom? No. No? Did he just smile at me? Oh my god, Jimmy, this is good news. What changed their minds? Oh, rebellion mostly. A lot of tears, my dear. You have no idea. <laughs> I threatened to kill myself until eventually my mom couldn't take it anymore. So she also went threatening my dad <laughs> that if he doesn't accept Leslie, that she would leave him. <laughs> I was surprised when you called him for the drinks. Girl, I am so happy for you. And I'm happy for you too. Oh, you haven't met Joe yet, right? No. Come on. Oh, not until you tell me everything about last night. <laughs> what is with you and Greg? There's nothing to tell. Oh, you're not getting away with that. I'm listening. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Everything. Okay, um, <clears throat> it was... Are you blushing? <laughs> it was, um, it was great. And, Hi. Uh... Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> She's engaged, Greg. Back off. Okay, now pay no attention. She's just a harmless brother. <laughs> um, I'm Jamila. Well, indeed you are. I've heard a lot about you. Same here. Really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's mommy? I don't know. Why? Well, something very serious. Is, um, no, no, not that serious though, but uh, you just continue your gossip and I've been around the corner. Yeah? <laughs> okay, back to you. <clears throat> First of all, mm -hmm. we had dinner mm -hmm. alone. Mm -hmm. And then I proceeded to the bathtub. And where was he? He was naked in the bedroom waiting for her. He had nothing on apart from his... You, you know what? Right. Wait, you just continue your gossip. I'll just be on the corner. <laughs> <laughs> this brother of yours, he is so funny. He's unbelievable. <laughs> crazy. Okay, tell me. <clears throat> and then this part. Was Okay, and then... Which part? What's wrong? You're acting weird. Look, Candy, I know this is not the right time to say this. <gasps> yes. But 
Candy, are you with me? <gasps> Candy? Oh my god! What's the meaning of that? Candy. That was Mercedes. And Joe, the groom. What? Listen, darling. Just, could you give me a minute? I, I'll meet you up front. Just, just give me a minute. I guess I've come here enough. <laughs> well, um, let me just go look for my own husband. Okay. Oh, lipstick. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm good, I'm good. <clears throat> Yeah, as you yeah, are. Look at him better. I'm How can anything go for you? Yeah! <laughs> you better get all of these, huh? You better get all of these, huh? You better get all of these, huh? This from airport to this place. I ended up paying 20 Ghana cities and the chicken. Who's is in it? Shut, shut it! Right! Excuse me. 
Excuse me. How many people are on this table? There's two Just of us. Two. Just two of you. Yeah. Even the relatives are not entitled to a bottle. Ma Madam. Shh. They will soon bring rice. What are you doing here? Trying to get some quiet moments. Away from the noise. This part of the house is not opened to intruders. You better leave. Is that what I am now? You want to hear more? You want to know what you really are? A swine. A buffoon. You're nothing. Did you hear me? Nothing. Okay. 
okay? I'm sorry, darling. What, what, what? I'm, I'm still trying to come to terms with the fact of what Mercedes is doing behind our backs. Oh, yes, that. I mean, how could she do this to opera? Especially today. I, uh, I, that's, that's, uh, that's, uh, uh, that's, but, but, <clears throat> anyway, what are you going to do about it? I don't know, I don't know. I can't tell opera. No. This is, she just got married. You can't, you can't possibly do that. Imagine what will happen if, if people find out. It'll be a disaster, I tell you. I mean, I mean, that's, that's heartless. How? Oh, it's heartless. Aren't they supposed to be friends or something? I know. I can't believe this. I can't believe she's this. A, oh my God. She's a devil. I mean, that girl is a devil. In fact, anybody who betrays the trust placed in them is a devil. I'm telling you. Oh, I can't she, believe this. She's, she's, this she's, is a disaster. Oh, Leslie. This is just a disaster. It is, it is. with you and fidgeting and looking around all night. Me? I'm not. I'm not. Am I looking around? I'm not looking around. I'm, I'm just... Look, <clears throat> Candy, besides what's going on, I mean, you know, the whole saga had and everything. Besides that, we, we, we really need to talk. Talk? Yes, you, you you Will you stop thinking about yourself for even one minute? Does this seem like the right time for you to talk? No, no, listen, no. all I want to do now is find that Mercedes and tell her piece of mind. I'm sorry. Well, some things are just too private to share. It's okay. You don't have to tell me anything you're not prepared to. I just want to make sure my baby's okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm very lucky. <laughs> Surrounded by people who truly love me. Oh, we thank God. You know that. <laughs> Some of us oh. don't. Who oh. opened this small house? What house? That house is always locked.
your friend snatch your husband from you? Jenny, I don't want to hear anything about this anymore. It is my wedding and all I want to do is play the bride. Where have you been? I've been looking all over. What? This is Jamila, uh, Opera's friend from the service. Oh, right. <laughs> Opera mentioned you. My name is Mercedes. What is wrong with her? asking you. Have you gone mad? <sighs> you are the scummiest person I have known my entire bloody life. For God's sake, Candy, what has come over you? You will expect Explain to me this very minute. Just how this nonsense started and, and how long it's been going on. How long what's been going on? You are not making sense. Don't you dare pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. Don't you dare pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. You are a Mercedes. That's what you are. I'm so ashamed of you. I have told you I have no idea what you're talking about. How long have you been sleeping with Joe? Are you out of your mind? I have never... Don't you dare! Truth. Where did you get such a horrendous idea? You are such a viper, Mercedes. Huh? I can't believe you've been my friend all this while. This nonsense has got to stop. I have if to... you have a shred of dignity left in you, you would get it out right now. Right? We make love every day. Yes. Every single day. Why? Opera is our friend. Because 
because I love him. Shit! It is true. I love him and he loves me. Just listen to yourself, Mrs. I know how it sounds, but I couldn't help it, Candy. I think I can't live without him. How long has this been going on? Four months. Jesus. Sorry. Besides, I didn't think I was doing anything wrong. You didn't think you were doing anything wrong? <sighs> She's pregnant with another man's child. Everything! I can't tell you anything, Joe. I'm sorry. No, you're not. No, you're not sorry. How long has she been pregnant? You can't make me tell you anything. You. How could you have kept such a thing for me? How could you? I promised her. This could have changed everything for the both of us. You know that. How could you? Because she's my friend and she trusted me. To have a friendship. Some trust. Shame on both of you. Get your filthy hands off me. going on? I don't understand. Listen, if it's about what happened earlier, I am... It is about the pregnancy. I don't know what you're talking about. You never planned on telling me, did you? I, I can't believe she told you. I thought we three were best pals. Opera! Oh, now I know my stance. You know what? Actually, forgive my intrusion. Listen, Candy, Candy. I'm sorry, okay? Please. I'm hurt that you, you believe you can't trust me. No, but why? Stop. Listen, I'm sorry. And I didn't tell you because, because I was too ashamed. You've always been the straight one and you'll never have approved of this marriage and I never really had a choice. Opera, I would never have judged you. I know, Candy. Listen, you've never known this, but I've always looked up to you. I couldn't bring myself to tell you about such a black spot in my life. Please. Joe knows. Why is everything going so wrong? <sighs> Where is she? Where is she? Up in your room. No, you're not. Mercedes. The only reason I kept silent about the affair is because you had my secrets. 
and I was afraid you would speak up if I dared interfere. So I allowed the two of you have all the fun you wanted. And then you still went ahead and told everyone about something I told you in confidence. Mercedes, you went to my husband and spilled the beans. Are you happy now? Huh? It was all a mistake. I never... You are not my friend, Mercedes! Wait, 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 wait. So you've known about the affair? For two months. Yes. For two months. I've watched the two of you stab me in the back. Hey, hey, hey. Let's not shift the attention here. My sleeping with Mercedes is nothing compared to what you've done. Mm. You stood before the altar and you swore to be mine for the rest of your life with another man's child growing right inside of you. What are you thinking? I mean, what were you planning to do? To pin the pregnancy on me? Yes. And what were you planning to do? What were you going to do when Mercedes? Cheat on me for the rest of our miserable married life. That's not the point. What is the point then? The point is what you've done. Really? It's unforgivable. So what is forgivable? Sleeping with my best friend a night before our wedding? And barely 24 hours after? <gasps> oh yes, I know. Mercedes, I know! How did you know? How I found out is not important. But the fact remains that I know and it is true. I've got nothing to lose now. I've been sleeping with Joe for the past four months because I love him. Mercedes. The two of you are the most hypocritical people I have ever known. How dare you? You never loved him. You only married him because you couldn't afford to have a child out of wedlock. That would have tarnished your perfect family status and your parents would have never forgiven you. And I wouldn't have given it to your advances if I hadn't heard you telling your friends how good married to opera would be good for business. And how you could not get me off your mind. You... you heard that? Your friends asked you to kill whatever was building between us before it got out of hand. Then I had fallen in love with you. Here was a man who loved me for who I was. Who hopefully still loves me. Who was getting married to your best friend? Who never loved each other? I agreed to marry you because I thought you loved me. And that with time, I could learn to love you too. Maybe I should just give you two the opportunity to live together. Josiah, I'm getting a divorce. No, please. Mercedes. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this for myself and my unborn child. Opera. I want to be a... Opera. Thoughtful and sincerest person. 
persons I've ever known in this world. I sometimes wonder how you became my daughter. That's why I can't tell you. Well, you never disappoint me. Never. Look, no one is perfect in this world. But you are. No, I'm not. You may think I am, but I'm not. Now tell me what I want to know. What's happening? I'm pregnant. Joe is not the father. Kate and the boy. Hard I tried. My parents were against it. I married your father not because I wanted to, but because I had to. You don't care about that, Mum. You don't even care no. about the family. I cared about you too. You mean the world to me. But why now, Mummy? Does Daddy even know you're cheating on him? Greg, how dare you say such a thing about mom? You planned this, didn't you? You turned it against me. But trust me, you can't stop me this time, mom. Stop it, stop! Dad and I were just talking. We had no idea you would charge in with surprises. And what I'd like to know is your romance story and why Greg thinks you're cheating on Dad. Now you stop it! Stop it! Stop it! This is the way I planned it. Now we're all here, Greg, Oprah, you. Now, your mom and I are getting a divorce. Oh yes. We planned to tell you or bring the news to you after the wedding. What? Wait, so all these kisses and pegs, they've all been a farce? No, sweetheart. We... You lied to us! No, we did it for you. What about Greg? Oh, Greg is a man. He can take care of himself. Oh, Daddy, please. Can you guys just solve this yourselves? Greg, your mom hasn't been a happy woman for 30 years. She deserves to be happy. She has a right. And you, Opera, I will support you through your divorce. You need to find a man who can make you happy. 
What are you talking about? You are getting a divorce. For, for God's sake, you just got married. You can't do that. Jaina, you want history to repeat itself? Do you want your daughter to make the same mistakes that you made? Do you? Neither will she want her son to catch her making out of another man in her husband's house. What? What did you just say? Ask mommy. Say it. Greg. Greg saw me and Kwame. In the bathroom. In the bathroom doing what? Brushing your teeth? You mean, Kwame? Hey, hey, what, what's no. up? What's up? Get some water, get some water, get some water! Water! Quickly! Oh my God! Jesus! 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 Water! Wait, sir, wait, wait, wait. What do I do? Just put it in your mouth? Alright? Jesus, 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 What's going on? That was What? She's pregnant, mom. What? What? I lied. Oh, I don't want to shit. Oh. Ah! Yeah. Look. What do I do? Regina! Should, should I put it? Get out. Oh, oh goodness. Mom. That was Hey. Wow, such an awesome party. I wonder how all of this was put together so beautifully. It's beautiful quite all right, but can we get to the point where they start serving the food? Forgive me, but I thought someone wanted to lose some flaps underneath her arms. <laughs> I've given up on that. Because the last time I checked, people die of HIV faster than obesity. And the last time I checked, no man wanted to take you to bed. <laughs> Very impressive. It's an odd word, isn't it? I can't find a man, yet someone decides to get hooked to a woman. Wow. We are not hooked, okay? We are in love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we are getting married. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Why is the idea of two women being in love so funny? Huh? Funny? Mm -hmm. You mean stupid? If you were 10 pounds slimmer and had a face good enough to look at, sweetheart, I could have dreamt of having a crush on you. She didn't just say that to me. I just did, chipmunk. Chipmunk. <laughs> okay, Lesbian. I don't know where you come from, but what you don't want is messing up with me. <laughs> and what you gonna do about that? Yes, what you gonna do about it? I'm going to beat your gay self to unconsciousness and then shove my vibrator down your ass. 
you have a vibrator? <gasps> we left ours. Can we, like, use yours, please? Ew! Yeah. by the minute.
But I forgot about it with time. But then I lost Christy and the kids to that accident. And it infuriated me to see you have it all. I thought if I couldn't have you, I'd have your daughter. So I was the subject for your vengeance? Initially. But you were such a wonderful child. I am not a child! No, you're not. But I just couldn't go through the plan. So I ended the relationship. I swear to you. I never suspected for a moment that you were... You are carrying my child. This child is mine, and mine alone. And where did you place me in your strategy? It just happened, Regina. I never planned for any of this to happen. I planned to tell you. Believe me, Regina. You must leave. Out. Get out. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Regina. in love with a bastard.
thought we agreed to wait till after opera settles. Huh? I can't have this. <laughs> Richard, no. Richard, don't leave me. Don't. I can't face the children. I don't know how you're going to stand me after all this. None of that matters to me, Richard. I love you. I love you. Please. And if you want to face the children, remember. You won't have to do it alone. I'll be there with you. I have never tried to. Not even once to love you. <laughs> because I knew I would eventually go back to Kwame. I never put any effort into us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I can't. I, I will have to come back for my things later. <laughs> Go check up on them. I'm leaving. No. Mom, please, no. Don't do this. I'll go get Greg. Mom, Mom. Are you just going to walk out of our lives? Just like that? Like we mean nothing to you? That is not the point. You know it. I don't know anything. Did Dad ask you to leave? Because I can go talk to him. You know he still loves you. You're no longer a child. You don't need me. Mom, I need you. No. I am pregnant and without a husband. No. And I need you. No. It's my mess, I know, but I need you. I can't. Mom, I can't do this without you, please. Don't leave. No, I can't. I can't. Now listen, please. Please, I can't, Oprah. No, 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 listen. Please what? You're just gonna walk out like nothing happened? All right, go. You don't speak to me like that, young man. I have spent the best part of my life crying, caring and enduring for you too. All right, fine. We already know that. What's so surprising about that? You're a mother, that was your job. That was what you were supposed to do. Greg! I can't even believe how that he took it. Oh, Tell me of all people. <laughs> Mommy, I don't know how I'm going to forgive you. How am I going to do it? Huh? Well, for all I care, you can leave. Hey, this is so embarrassing. Listen, he's just hurt. But if you leave, you're going to destroy any chance of you reconciling. Mom, please stay. Listen, listen. Let's be a family again. I can't. No. I love you. I can't. I, I can't. love you. Mom, 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 mom. Let's not allow Kwame break this family. I love you. Mom. No, I can't. I love you. I can't. I can't. Listen, listen. Let's deal with this together. I can't.
I'm not leaving. But it doesn't mean everything is okay with us. I am just stupid wired. But you still want me after everything that has happened. I'm gonna pretend to lie here with you. Until I have completely forgiven myself. I will have to seek for professional help. And try to forgive myself. Yes, true. <laughs> but if you still want me, I'll come back here. Understand me and not her. Huh? Because you're not my mom. You're not married to my father. Listen, Greg, she loves you. She doesn't deserve this. Look, I need you to promise me you'll give her another chance. Greg, promise me. Promise me. Fine. Fine what? I promise. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, and we are in charge. More highlight music for you. Here we go. I've had enough for one night. Good night, everyone. Mercedes. Don't leave. Really? Okay. I still feel like smacking you in the face and rubbing your face in some pig dung. I feel betrayed. I'm hurt. And the last thing I want to do is talk to you right now. Good, but I need you. Everything has gone so wrong tonight. And I think I have no right to stay upset with you, especially when I'm even asking Greg to forgive my mom. That's a whole new chapter. I don't think I'm ever going to ask you to forgive me again. Great. Because I don't even think I can. But for tonight's sake, let's just keep this party together. I just can't wait to get back to the hotel. Get rid of more people tonight. <laughs> I'll be right back. Um, sure. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Hi. Hi, sweetie. Hey. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. <laughs> oh, no. How? We're girls. We're talking. <laughs> um, Oprah. Hi. I'm so sorry. I have to leave so soon. Yeah. Leslie has an appointment early in the morning. Leslie? Yeah, my fiancé. Oh, I'm so sorry I have introduced him to you. Um, you might have seen him around. Light-skinned-looking guy, very tall in the brown suit. Oh, listen, my world, he's everything. Oh, come on, Ken. I, uh, I was looking for you. I, I... Is this your lesson? Yes. Leslie, my fiance. <laughs> um. <laughs> Are you okay now? Probably rejoicing at my pain. No, 
Oh, how dumb can you be? <laughs> oh no. I didn't just hear you insult me. Don't 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 Shut think it. you can take it. Shut it. That's my line. Well, I stole it. I'm sorry about Leslie. <sighs> Are you really? I wouldn't be sitting here alone with you if he didn't turn out to be a bastard. <laughs> You're right about that. I mean, look at me. I'm smart. I'm hardworking. I've supported this this idiot through a whole course of our relationship, and he doesn't even have integrity and honor. That two timing. What do you mean? Well, <clears throat> what I mean is, whatever I'm going to say is going to be under the influence of alcohol. If it backfires. Okay. Forget it. What's this? <laughs> Stop teasing me. Seriously, this I is like not you. the... I like you. I have a terrible crush on you and I think I'm in love with you. When well, I said it, that's it. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm, I'm surprised you didn't notice. Say something. Are you drunk? Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> I didn't know. Then why are you always fighting me? Well, I'm not always fighting you. You are always fighting me. I don't care who's fighting whom. Greg, why didn't you say something? Well, I just knew I didn't have a chance with a woman like you, that's all. Like me? Yes, like you. I mean, you were engaged at the time. And besides that, I mean, look at you. You're incredibly beautiful. You're warm. You're flawless skin. You're amazing. I don't date kids. You're just two years older than me. Don't sound like my mom. Uh, yeah, you're my best friend's younger brother. You don't have to accept me, okay? I thought me telling you how I felt towards you would make you feel better in time like this, that's all. You don't have to love me back, right? It's... It's what I feel, it's what I say. Excuse me. No, no, hold on, hold on. You don't have to run away. Where are you going? You don't have to go. We're still talking. <laughs> we can't do this. Do what? We're not doing anything. We're just talking yet. <clears throat> What do you mean? <laughs> We're not compatible. Really? Yeah. You're not romantic for starters.
shall know. so much overwhelmed with fantasy. I can't stop loving you. <sighs> Jenna? Yeah? You better go downstairs, okay? That's something to blame in the morning. This. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. He, he is she's drunk. drunk. No, she's wrong. He, 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 he is completely drunk. drunk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Craig, this doesn't mean anything. What? It is. It's, I don't know what it means. Maybe I'm just still hurt from Leslie's deceit. <coughs> Maybe you should give me some time. You guys are needed at the party. No, I will give you some time. Hmm? Um, anyway, there is a thin line between family and friends. Yet sometimes they mean the same thing. What is going on here? I don't have any idea. In any case, Opera and Desire have a few things to share with us. Opera. It 
It's been a long night. Maybe the longest night of my life. Everything that I've hoped and wished for has all come to this. There are no words to explain it. Not even enough tears to shed. This marriage was a mistake. But as wounded as our hearts are, we must remember to forget the pain and hold on to the memories that we cherish. It's hard to forgive, but it's even harder to hate. Our lives are like a picture album. All we can do now is close this one. Everyone else, family is all that matters. You know what they say, life isn't a perfect picture. But let's just try and make this as perfect as possible. All right, people, in 10 seconds, smile. Oh, oh, oh. Sweetie baby, just live so far. Oh, oh. 